Hey guys, this is Matt and Mary with Mary for More. We just want you guys to check out this snippet video that we have from our latest episode. Um, feel free to join the group. The link will be listed down below. We would love to have you guys join us. All right, check it out. <laughs> but no, when you talk about God in your heart, I've, I was just thinking about emotional access, like how accessible are you emotionally mm -hmm. to your spouse versus also how emotionally accessible are you to other people of the yeah, opposite sex too. Oh, oh that's real true. Because that was going to be something I was going to talk about. And so part of guarding your heart is allowing yourself to be completely emotional, emotionally accessible to your spouse, but not emotionally accessible to the opposite sex around mm -hmm, you. For example, some... let's say coworkers. Mm -hmm. You're around your coworkers every day for eight to 10 hours, depending on what you do or whatever. It's no reason why you should be more emotionally available with the women that you work with day to day, but not be that emotionally available with your spouse. And a part of guarding your heart is restricting the access that you allow your coworkers or whoever else that you're around um, to have so that you don't open up that door. a door mm -hmm. for something else. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the problem is, not the problem, but usually, especially the coworkers who really ain't up to no good, you start to tell them enough about your spouse, about the wrong that they be doing, your coworkers say, okay, well, I'm just going to do all the right. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to see is me doing what you want your spouse to do. That's a trap. That's a trap. So I'm going to be the perfect one at work and hopefully we can go to happy hour and hopefully we just don't tell your wife that's true and then that's i'm true. pregnant oh lord <laughs> we went we went real far <laughs> jesus but yeah that's not that's 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 real that's real good though it's real life no, it's real life because that's what these hoes be doing okay we're not gonna say hoes but wives, so, wives, these co-workers will be trying to get y'all man they hoes, right? <laughs> How about that? I think everybody's going to say yes. And so I think a part of that conversation to the men, it's like husbands, you guys need to be mature enough and alert enough to, to restrict emotional access from women that's not your spouse. Mm -hmm. And women. And sometimes I think also because men, I'm sorry, because men are naive, I think that a lot of times what you guys may not cons you may you guys may not consider it being emotionally available to women, mm -hmm. but for a, a a woman is easily emotionally attached to a man. All it takes is for consistent conversation, a consistent check in. How are you doing today? How was your morning? All of the things that your spouse wants from you, if you're giving that to someone else, that's opening up a door, an mm -hmm. emotional connection that should not be opened up with another party. And so that's how it starts before you go down the line of adultery. I mean, that's, that's a, in my opinion, because we can talk about that too. That's a form of adultery. In my opinion, ladies agree. Mm -hmm. Ladies, let me know if y'all agree. But yeah, like be, if you are shit. if you if you are emotionally accessible to a woman that is not your spouse, that is a form of adultery. That's just opening up. It just didn't go far yet, but I feel like that's a form of adultery because women are emotionally driven. Mm -hmm. Well, you agree with that? They hoes with the adultery thing. Both. I'm sure. She agrees. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> she believes agree she agrees with both. Uh, Rashad agrees. Thank you. Man, so, I, yeah, I mean, I know emotional emotional cheating is cheating, but cheating does the, not just the, equal the, sex. What's the what's the forgiveness level? Like some people can't come back from a sex cheating, but can you come back from an emotional cheating? So like one is more I, easy to I think recover. it's easier to recover from emotional cheating versus the act of mm -hmm. being sec and, sexually intimate. And I think wives, well, Joyce said that's creating intimacy with someone else that's not your spouse. And I think Absolutely. that's true because especially 
when y'all are so emotional that stuff like that really, really gets y'all. When I don't, when I'm sometimes husbands naivety, naivety, naivete, mm -hmm. naiveness, <laughs> almost have them sharing their life and not even really paying attention to the fact that this person is taking everything you're saying and about to try to create the perfect scenario for you. You know how you just you just go yeah we just up all night she she just ain't she just wanted me to do the dishes so bad she was she she ain't talked to me all day because I didn't do I didn't take the trash yesterday like see no like that. that's the stuff that you say to your homeboy because your homeboy ain't trying to ain't trying to go no further if you are venting to someone about an issue that you've had with your mm -hmm. spouse you should only be venting to the same sex like your you. your like i can vent to my home girl about something that's mm -hmm. going on with us but i would never vent to another mm -hmm. guy about something an uh, issue that we have going okay. on because then that opens up the door again emotional access to the opposite sex that allows even if that other party wasn't even interested that opens up if they're single that begins to open up an interest mm -hmm. in you due to that emotional connection mm -hmm. yeah you know i only i call it my home voice just letting Quinny says know. sex for men is the same for women i don't condone cheating yeah yeah i guess men they could just be like oh hit it and quit it i ain't i ain't connected but a woman mm -hmm. is connected mm -hmm. immediately Definitely. immediately Definitely, I think that's why. I see. That's why I feel like it would be easy for men to forgive an emotional affair to women. Men are probably just like, "Well, stop talking to this person. Okay, cut them off. Come back home. Go to bed." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> women, are like, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Women are kind of like, "What?" So you say you? for a man? So for a man? No, I'm not going to say spouse? that. I'm going to say a lot of men. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm okay with you sharing secrets some guy no nah. <laughs> i feel like you wouldn't care <laughs> no i would care i would care i'd be up i'd be yeah, i mean i don't but i don't think jumped. you care you what what you mean i don't, you don't think i would care i think that me having conversation <laughs> no not like that <laughs> hold up i'm saying like <laughs> i don't I don't think if I was having a conversation with another guy, I don't think you would be like tripping off of, of that, off a of conversation. Oh no, mm. no. But if I could see, if I could tell that he is interested, then I'd be like, all right, calm yourself down. <laughs> all right, calm yourself down. I'm talking. To you. But no, I mean. It does depend on the personality, Joey. I agree. It definitely does. But guarding your heart in your marriage is super important. And it is so important to not allow someone of the opposite sex to have emotional access to you and to your heart. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If there's things you need to talk about that your spouse just, you know, it was just a bit, just, just, just look, I can't get my words out. It's been a week. It's been a day. They've been getting on your nerves. You confide in... Yeah, the same sex. Your homegirl, your homeboy. You don't confide in the opposite sex about issues that you have going on within your marriage because it opens up a door. And I think I wanted to talk about physically, especially for guys, wear your eyes. Just on top of all of, all of this other emotional stuff. A lot of a lot of times men being visual, your wife pregnant, all of a sudden you looking at every other woman who's not pregnant. And lusting. So I think, I think for for a time I had to stay off of social media because everybody on social media don't have clothes on. And that's every woman these days. Everybody want me naked. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand it. But it's that's garden. That's like doing your self checks. And I mean, women can look at guys on social media too. Um, yeah. That's doing your self check and making sure that you're not opening on the door to create a the ideal type, body type for your wife. 
or for what you wish your wife had when <laughs> when when your wife or your husband should be the standard of beauty for you like what your wife is is a 10 what your husband is is a 10 um and everybody else you see is under that but we gotta kind of watch what we are looking at who we following what videos we watching if we especially if you know you struggle if you know you struggled with like lust in the past not trying to open up that door just because for a moment your wife got on your nerves or something then all of a sudden and not not that you just said oh i'm gonna just go to this website real quick she got on my nerves i don't want to talk to her but just even somebody your wife annoying you you just start scrolling all of a sudden you find a picture you click a profile now you scroll in the profile now you go into this now you're looking at other stuff like it's a lot of it's a rabbit hole that you need to check yourself and make sure you don't end up in mm-hmm. wives too mm-hmm. well, wives too but i had to talk to husbands because that's yeah. that's real i think i'd probably i don't know if i really dealt with that but also i think men being visual a lot of times you don't even realize how much skin you're taking in on a daily basis when you just scroll on facebook or scroll on instagram you almost get desensitized to it but then i mean being visual you do be like on social media everything is just you 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 on body you on yeah you on instagram and then you i mean you do see something like oh that looks nice and then all of a sudden your Insta, your phone heard you <laughs> <laughs> your now your page. explore page is just twerks everything i cannot so yeah kind of watch that and when you want to explore page you can also hit not interested and that stuff is not going away or just do a social media fast and just don't be on social media because it's only but so much restriction social media is even going to allow you to have control over anyway Mm -hmm. like that's the plot of social media to keep people engaged to keep them coming back to keep scrolling like it's all a tactic and so if you know if you know you visual and temptation is out there on social media get off social media Mm -hmm. and it's not even a thing where um only follow food pages (laughs) recipes not not if you a glutton well not if you're a glutton so, but I'm saying my example is follow thing, I, follow I a bunch you, of pages, follow podcasts that just talks about businesses, mm-hmm. like follow business pages, stuff it's, that is it's not also inspirational. Thing, it's not also it's not even a thing where you feel like looking at this is going to lead to you cheating. It's a thing where looking at this is going to lead to you wishing your wife comparing like back to comparison. Yeah, we we that's a that's something you don't want to touch because she probably dumb on Instagram. What? That person you, you looked at is probably stupid. And you trying to wish this was your wife or something. Wish your wife was like this. It's just so many things like you So you saying the girls with the bodies out here be dumb is what you saying. I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. That's what it sounds like. Saying the saying. ones who sell their body online probably yeah. Oh yeah, they definitely dumb. Um, Obviously. They're rich. So maybe not. I don't know. Good business people. I'm just saying. You no, need deliverance. I'm just saying. Like I like I originally said, your wife is your standard, is your standard of beauty. So when you scrolling or when you see something, just understand that they not your wife. They can never treat you the way your wife did. Not even sexually, just like as a best friend as a companion look look, take all these things into account because there are phases where people don't look like they used to or people let go a little bit just understand that they have brought so much more to the table 